Could you save a life? Anaphylaxis can be a scary word, and there is a lot to learn about it. Understanding what causes anaphylaxis and knowing how to respond to a severe allergic reaction will help you to save a life. Common triggers for anaphylaxis are food, medicine, insect stings, and latex. The following are the most common food allergens in Canada. Peanut, soy, egg, sesame seeds, milk, seafood, tree nuts, sulfites, wheat, and mustard. Please recognize that this is not an exhaustive list. Think fast. The face. Look for hives, itching, redness, or swelling of the face, lips, or tongue. Airway. Coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest pains, tightness, throat tightness, hoarse voice, nasal congestion, or hay fever like symptoms, such as running itchy nose and watery eyes and sneezing. Also trouble swallowing. Stomach. Nausea, pain, cramps, vomiting, and diarrhea. Also look for total body symptoms. As well as the hives itching and swelling, look for weakness, dizziness, lightheadedness, loss of consciousness, change in color, weak pulse, passing out, or shock. Others could be anxiety or a feeling of impending doom, headache, cramps, and a metallic taste. Act. Give epinephrine, such as EpiPen or Allergex. The first signs may be mild, but symptoms can get worse quickly. Repeat in 5 to 15 minutes if reaction continues or gets worse. Call 911. Go to the nearest hospital even if symptoms are mild or have stopped. Call the parent or caregiver. The most dangerous symptoms of allergic reaction are trouble breathing and a drop in blood pressure. Both can lead to death if untreated. Some important things to keep in mind. Do not ignore the early symptoms. Always take a possible reaction seriously and act quickly. Not every reaction will always look the same. A person can have different symptoms each time. Anaphylaxis can occur without skin symptoms or hives. There is no danger to use epinephrine for a life-threatening allergic reaction. This means that in normally healthy individuals, epinephrine will not cause harm if it is given but not needed. Possible side effects from epinephrine are mild and go away quickly. These can include paleness, rapid heart rate, dizziness, weakness, shaking, and headache. As educators and caregivers, you play an important role in safeguarding a growing number of children at risk of anaphylaxis. Children with severe allergies benefit when they feel that others are mindful of their situation, ready to respond in an emergency, and when they are treated with respect. Like all other children, they just want to fit in. As classmates learn about their allergic friend's condition, they often become proud allergy ambassadors, watching out for their peers and educating their own parents and others about how to keep their friends safe. You will find, too, that as you learn more, you will gain confidence in your ability to manage anaphylaxis. Using an EpiPen auto-injector. Hold firmly with the orange tip pointing downward. Remove the blue safety cap by pulling straight up. Do not bend or twist. Swing and push the orange tip firmly into the mid-outer thigh until you hear a click. Hold on the thigh for several seconds, or count to ten. Call 911. When the EpiPen has been removed, the orange needle cover automatically extends to cover the injection needle, ensuring the needle is never again exposed. The Allergect auto-injector contains the same medication as in the EpiPen, but uses a voice prompt to guide you through its use during an allergic reaction emergency. If the voice prompt is broken, the medicine will still work, using the following steps. Pull the allergic from the outer case. Pull off the red safety guard. Place the black end against the middle of the outer thigh, then press firmly and hold in place for 5 seconds. The allergic makes a distinct click and hiss when you press it against your leg. This is normal and indicates the allergic is working correctly. After this, seek immediate medical or hospital care. Everyone loves a birthday celebration or class party, but what are other options that don't involve food in the allergy-aware classroom? How about games, crafts, a treasure hunt? If you want to bring in items for the class to enjoy together, why not introduce new books for the classroom? 